Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, here we are uh, in the second part of the right ventricle. For evaluation of right ventricle, for making it easier, we can divide it, it, is, it uh, to four categories and groups. First, the size of the right ventricle, whatever it changes, increasing and uh, those changes that affect the size. Uh, second is systolic function, how we evaluate systolic function of right ventricle, diastolic dysfunction, and finally, isolated disorder that involved most, uh, most important on the right ventricle. In the right uh, ventricle size uh, measurement, we do and we use uh, many different parameters that each of them has different value and most of the time we use combination of all of them for uh, evaluation of right ventricle size that include RVOT diameter, basal and mid and the length of the right ventricle, uh, ratio of the right ventricle to the left ventricle, area and volume. The, for the systolic uh, function of the right ventricle we use uh, FAC, fractional area change, TAPC, TAPSV, RIMP, uh, DP to DT, or T index, MPI, and finally RV strain. That each of those has a different indication and implication and meaning in different situations that I am going to talk about each of them uh, completely in detail and in practical form. And for the osteoid dysfunction, we usually we go measuring tissue doppler of the right ventricle, tissue of, uh, doppler of the tricuspid valve, EA and S prime, and all of them. This is uh, RV, TDI, S prime, or um, TAPS V. We talk about that and hepatic vein and how we evaluate the osteoid dysfunction of right ventricle what and what are those clinical Im Im implication of those finding and finally i am going to talk about uh, shortly most important clinical aspect of the isolated disorder that involve most in the right side including pulmonary hypertension pulmonary embolism arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy or dysplasia, right ventricular isolated right ventricular hypertrophy, and finally isolated right ventricular dilated cardiomyopathy. Now let's go first see what is the most important clinical tips for the measuring right ventricular size or volume. 